rock. A very diverse genre. It can sound like this. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Or this. Now let's find out some unique rock genres, indie rock, aka independent rock. If your music is not mainstream, released through small labels and DIY ethics, you're indie rock. Fans have more freedom on their music so they can add punk, you leave anytime you can cause I'm crazy and I'm hurt. psychedelic, post-punk, country, many elements in it. The first successful release was Buscock's Spiral Scratch, a self-funded EP which inspired the birth of these three indie labels. During the 80s, bands like Sonic Youth, Ram, The Pixies, Smith, quickly got scooped by major labels after a few releases. It reached the mainstream during the 90s with grunge bands like Nirvana, Pearl Jam, etc. along with the Smashing Pumpkins. Also, rip pop with the big four. Achieving commercial success during 2000s with bands like The Killer. Arctic Monkey, The Strokes, and many more continues the evolution and the experimentation of indie rock. Hard rock, the heavier version of rock, the lighter version of metal. Influenced by Garage, Psychedelic. Especially blues rock. With heavy and aggressive vocals and distorted instruments, sometimes adding keyboards. Proto songs in the 60s include Cream's I Feel Free. The Who's I Can See For Miles. The Kings You Really Got Me. And the Rolling Stones' Satisfaction. Then in the 70s with Deep Purple, Let's Separate, and Iron Butterfly. Getting heavier with each release. Later on, we have Queen. ACDC Kiss And many more joining in, dominating the media. The genre declined in the 80s with the rise of fresh metal and glam metal. And many bands changed into a pop rock sound. Then died out when grunge and rip pop came in. Then the 2000s, aka Internet Revival, with collectibles and tribute bands. Many bands goes on tour and releases music. Before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe. Your support is my motivation and backbone to continue posting these videos. So please like and subscribe. Now back to the video. Progressive rock. Third eye opening alien music or sleepy music. Long, complex songs with all time signatures having classical <laughs> jazz. <laughs> 
electronic elements, concept album. The drama began in the 60s with the Moody Blues Days of the Future Past. The Nice fusing rock with classical and jazz elements in their first five albums. Ah, you never believe. <laughs> and the Beatles with Strawberry Feuds Forever. Then in the Canterbury scene with Caravans, If I Could Do It Over Again, I Would Do It Over You. Finding the genre, soon with Genesis. And all this time the past be King Crimson. Happy the Man from USA and etc. During the 70s, bands like Rush Yes Pink Ford etc. Embracing and experimenting the partners and releasing concept albums reached the mainstream. The drama declined in the 80s but got revived during 90s to 2000s with the third wave of prog rock and PROG METAL! Third wave bands include The Flower King, Fork Spear, and Glass Hammer. Sounding like the modern version of 70s prog. And prog metal bands include Queen's Right. The concept album Operation Mindcrime is very important in prog metal. Dream Theater. Tour. Etc. Gothic Rock. The spooky child of post-punk Bass heavy with reverb and delay guitars, drum machines and theoretical styles <laughs> Origins dates back to the 60s with pro golf bands and songs like The Doors, The End The Favorite Underground's Fenuin First oh, I am tired, I am weird. And All Tomorrow's Parties <laughs> And many more having this eerie sound. But we'll start in the 70s with Susie's and the Banshees. Joy Division. The assassins all grouped and four lights dancing on the floor. The Cure. And the Cramps. The way out, body underneath my head. The human fly is also a key point when mentioning gothic history. Etc. Bellhouse debut single, Bella Lugosi's Dead, Alone in a dark room, the count. was marked as the mainstream birth or the main element of gothic rock. In the 80s, we got Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry, The Sisters of Mercy. Clan of Cymox Then the 90s with London After Midnight Two Witches Children on Stunt The revival era during 2000s and 2010s with the Cemetery Girls Diva Destruction She passed away And Angels of Liberty And that's Rocks Up Dramas Part 1 Feel free to add your info or recommend your bands down in the comment section Especially the ones that I didn't mention because... Yeah!
Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!